whatever you like. <laughs> I am so annoyed. Hi, welcome to this video. What's going on? I got a new hairdo, but what's new? We like to put her in the rotation. So if you've been here for a while, then you already are familiar with her, okay? She's a sensational UG5. I'm gonna link her below. Normally I do the one B slash four where it ombre is into a four it's so beautiful but this one is a whole one b it's looking real black but it's cute all right i threw her on the other day and i'm just admiring the beauty of the woman you're looking at <laughs> welcome to today's video we are going to be testing new products i threw on these nails five minutes ago because i had taken off my other nails because i felt like it and then i was like i want to have nails on when i talk i want my nails to look nice i just threw these press-ons on real quick i love press-ons because it makes life easy okay link in that below for you i'm gonna link this bodysuit below for you too because ow she's looking real good <laughs> yeah otherwise let me get my stuff i'm sitting down here talking and doing the intro my stuff ain't even in front of me such a problem hold on all right just went and dampened my beauty sponge which we have talked about on a different video if you haven't watched that video make sure you watch it i'm gonna lotion my hands with this 54 54 thones african body butter have you heard of this company new company at sephora african owns she's from nigeria and i can't believe i'm not sure if she's mixed or not but i definitely know she's from nigeria the butters are from ghana okay and i forgot where else i can't remember right now but this smells so good it's natural raw shea butter ankasa inkuto if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Lovely shine. I didn't take a lot because you don't need a lot. You do not need a lot. It like a little bit goes a long way, okay? 54 thones, okay? Stands for the 54 countries in Africa. Hello? Hi. Okay, oh my God. I have so much so much stuff in front of me. This is my container that I got from Amazon. I'll link it below. There's mad stuff in here, okay? <laughs> It, I don't think it's everything for a full face. We're gonna use what we can that is new and then revert to what I already have. But I don't have it in this container, okay? All right, so first I have this Makeup Revolution Pore Perfecting Primer. I have never tried this. This reminds me of the, what is it? Tatcha Luminous Silk? Is that, wait, am I make, am I mixing things up? Hold on, Tatcha. That, you know what I'm talking about. And even Elf came up with the dupe of it as well. This reminds me of that, okay? Let's see. There was a little scooper, but we don't need all that, okay? We're gonna just take our fingers and go just like, now I'm gonna do this because I already have on moisturizer and my skincare, like the whole thing, and my, my uh, SPF. So the last thing I want to do is encourage any kind of pilling. And that's where essentially the products do not mix together. Well, there you go. It's happening where well, the products do not mix together and they start to bunch up like that. We're gonna be okay with this because that's just life. The SPF that I have on today is the Shiseido SPF sunscreen, SPF 50 sunscreen. That might be the culprit. It may not be my moisturizer, but I really just don't even know. I don't use products like this. Okay, let me just wipe. See? <laughs> Look at what's going on. I can't say that it is this product's fault because this has happened with other balms like this. So I'm not gonna fault the balm. Like, look, if I rubbed it, okay, on the chin it's not so bad, but it would definitely act up elsewhere, like my cheeks. I am getting the silicone feel. See if this, but you know, per poor say this five times poor blurring poor blurring poor blurring poor blurring poor jesus name of god these poor blurring products i don't know if they're actually poor blurring because i can still see my pores even with a full face of full coverage makeup and i'm okay with that you will have to try this for yourself to see if it truly does blur your pores in the way that you would like but here's that now for foundation i have two options that i wanted to try let's just do this one this is the benefit hello happy air stick foundation Foundation. It's the color 12. I hope this works because I already primed my face. I should have swatched this first. I'm so annoyed. Okay. Okay. Well, it could work though. I could make this work. Is this a dewy foundation? Oh, let's go. Okay, so this is a light to medium coverage foundation. Natural matte finish. Okay, so this is going to get matte. Understood. It just was looking real dewy. I just didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. All right, it looks like it could work. Like, it looks, you know, off right here, but it needs to be blended in. We've been through this before. Let me start here and blend this and see what happens. I have already, I've already applied so much so far. What in the world? Uh, is it wiping off or? 
is it blending what's going on right now this is a morphe e60 yep 63 brush i use this brush often to blend foundations either this one or the sephora is it number 70 i forget it's drying right now oh oh i forgot to my lips i'm so annoyed i gotta do that still annoying wait what, what what's this doing hi where are you wait what do you see that patch wait what is that is that a dry patch on my cheek why do i have that Wait, what is this? What, what's going on? Did I have that already? Why am I still seeing, why am I seeing streaks in the foundation? Why isn't it like, why am I not getting the coverage I need? Is it because of the, is it because of the primer? Get my chin because I do have, blem Ugh, this is strange to put foundation on while I have something glossy on my lips. It's odd. I don't do this. So let's prime the lips. This just feels too strange for me. MAC. Prep and prime lip. What is going on? I don't know what's going on today. I can't do that. What's going on today? Let me put some more on this side. This color's looking a little off. We're gonna have to go dark with the face powder because this is looking off. Make sure you watch my video on face powders to get a deeper understanding of what I mean by that. I do have a video on that. Let's see. Let me see if there's a darker shade of this because this is, I'm not really interested in how this is looking. Nope, dark warm. That's the color. This is the darkest one. They don't have many shades in this benefit. That's a problem. And this was sent to me which thank you but this is not working for me i mean oh, we can make it work you already know how i do right but i would prefer that it was darker i'm just blurring it on the edge i don't want any harsh lines okay but it does need to go down because under my chin i do have dark spots because i break out on my chin a lot okay oh let's do the forehead wiping off the excess to now blend i don't want any harsh lines around my forehead hence why i'm wiping off the excess to blend okay oh yeah this is looking uh, this is looking real light you heard this color is light and it is light to medium i can still see skin in my forehead it's looking dewy to me i don't see the matte situation i don't know when it's going to turn matte i wish it would turn matte like now today i didn't want to be hydrated but here i am i do see the medium coverage of it i do see the light coverage of it like i can still see my cheek underneath it's not what i like <laughs> at all you know i like more they i'm doing this as if it's gonna give me more i'm hoping that it gives me more coverage as i pounce you know when you wipe you're really wiping away the product i like to more so pat it in like this even though this is a slanted edge brush you know i do this right either with a slanted edge brush like this or with a flat one the one from sephora let me know if you've tried this i want to know what you think about this foundation okay i don't have a new concealer i don't get concealers often and i need to buy some more apparently okay this is the full on la girl this is the old school like just grateful for it it's amazing very affordable everyone needs it i used to wear 12 feet but 12 feet is too light for me baby 12 feet was when i was nw45 when i first came to houston not a mo not a mo okay get your damp beauty sponge we talked about it i'm squeezing just to check and i have some moisture in my hand so taking a piece of paper towel that i always cut into squares because that's just how i am and now i'm just squeezing the excess water out some more to now come and blend i like to start at the outer part of my face to blend it up in a diagonal fashion like this and you'll see this harsh line right now which is fine just to give us the idea that we are lifting up the face with the concealer this should help too because this is a full coverage concealer same on this side I like to start off with the outer part so that the inner part of my eye can dry some, giving me even more coverage on the inner part of my eye, okay? Turn it over to the butt of the sponge and let's blend out, what is it? The harsh lines, okay? There we go. And then we come into the inside like so, pinching, make the crazy psychotic eyes. It's a must for me at least to really get this and pouncing it, get right under your eye line, your lash line. Side of the nose is very important. Back out to the outer part because you just want all of it to have the same amount of coverage. Getting right in here as well. And then same on the side. Now, as you can see on the side of my nose, I'm creating a line because I'm reverse contouring. So by highlighting the sides of my nose, it is going to look like I've contoured, especially when I do the middle part of my face. Now, what I've been doing lately is taking this excess here, but I didn't do it soon enough, so I do need more product. That's not enough to highlight the way I want it to be in those areas, okay? So right here, okay? And then right here, okay? So see how I haven't even contoured yet? And it looks like I have. That's because all the highlight, hello. I love highlighting under my cheek. It's just something that I love to do, baby. It makes a huge difference. Definitely with this high pony, it's like, 
like giving everything I need right now. Okie dokie. So there's that. I feel like I want to add more here. Do you see that? Hmm. Mmm, whatever, I'm gonna leave it. I could have done with adding some more there, but I'm just gonna leave it alone right now. Okay, we gonna contour, I don't have another con, do I? No, I like to do cream contour these days, you know that. I could do just the powder, but why? If I can look fabulous with cream and powder, I wanna do both because I deserve to have both, duh. This is the Sephora 56 brush, Fenty 12 Tees. We already been here before, right? We're looking above the ear hairline, sideburns, above the ear sideburns and just this angle right here. Okay, apply the contour close to the mouth, but not so much. Although I know some people bring it all the way there. I don't do that. I've tried it a few times, but it's not for me. You know, just right here in the hand line. Gotta go into the hand line, baby. When you wash your face at night or whenever you're ready to wash all of it off, that looks messy. I'm gonna fix it. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. All this talking got me making a mess. <laughs> and I need a bib. When you wash your face at night, make sure you get your hairline too, okay? Very important. Very, very important to get all of that off. Otherwise, you'll be wondering why you have hairline acne. It's because you're not washing your hairline well, okay? Wash all of it off. Now, with excess on the brush, I'm taking some of it. And now I'm going to contour my nose, honey. I love to do me a contour like this. Remember back in the day when we used to contour and just go down and not do the V? When I finally had learned the V, I was like, ooh, that makes a difference. Hold on. <laughs> it just brings the nose to a nice point you know I can't really see the highlight but that's okay it's all good girl this is what's going on today this is looking messy <laughs> Hold on. let me get over here again sun's not working it's like the foundation is so loose it's moving it's making everything look strange I don't, I don't like that okay now I'm pouncing to eliminate any harsh lines okay and then you see how under the cheek was a, was a mess no extra product right we're just gonna go under again okay and that does help a bit but we don't want a harsh line so now the butt of the sponge and doing that so we just recarved it but no harsh lines up here either so let's get that area I hate this foundation it's not setting it's just it's still looks greasy this is not what is going on what is that on my face okay let me get my foundation brush again and fix this i don't know what happened over here here. Listen, this is literally one of those days. Okay, let me fix this. Okay. <laughs> All right, we have this Makeup Forever setting powder, matte setting powder, okay? We tried the dark one. Well, I, I attempted to try the dark one and it was just way too dark, okay? I think this one's gonna work for the kid. Let me open it up and let's try to set under the eye with this one because it's far too light to set my whole face. Like, hello, oops. So here is it. It is it is a warm powder, okay? Let's see how this is gonna be, all right? If you try this, comment and let me know. All the links to products that I'm using are gonna be in the description box, so make sure you take a look at that, okay? All right, taking this Sigma brush and taking some of the product. This is reminding me of the Prime Beauty product that I have because of the color tone of it. Usually I use either translucent or yellow, this is certainly warm taking some always tapping the excess and then what i have to do is take my sponge and go here again because my my under eye is creasing way more than it ever does it's the foundation oh what is going on and i'm not taking a lot but let me take some more Ooh, this is looking good oh god i did too much oh Lord, oh wow. I took too much over there. Yo, this is a mess. Don't we look like peaches and cream? What is going on? Wow, it's definitely giving coverage. Where's my mirror? Like a small one to put up close to me. Yeah, it's giving the coverage, baby. It really is. It is really warm. It is really nice too. Let me take some more and set the other highlighted areas. Tapping off the excess. I don't even know if I should even set under my cheek i can barely even see what's going on this foundation is really light yo so i'm feeling very warm as well like very orange i do like this powder i like it okay all right now i do have a bronzer from benefit hula bronzer baby the toasted one let's get this brush out of here i don't need that small Whoop. I'm done. <laughs> this small one, you know, I feel like this is an old school product. I've just never had it or nor have I used it. So I'm gonna use this bronzer right here. And the color, is the color toasted? Okay. Now this is a bronzer. Hmm, I don't want, see, here's the thing. I don't want more warmth because my face is already warm, like orange. 
right? So I'm actually not going to use this today. I'll use this on another occasion when I have on a foundation that is more cool, more neutral, not as warm. So not orange looking like this one. Now orange isn't a bad thing. It's just the undertone here is more warm, more orange. And if I add warmth to my face, to me, it'll be too much of that. I want to tone it down. So I'm going to use something cool in the neutral category-ish. This is the LYS Beauty Matte Bronze on the color worthy okay so she's just gonna give us a shadow she's not gonna give us any warmth to the face which i want right now i don't want god this coverage is looking weird this is oh this is the thing with trying on new products. It's like, I know what to use to look good. Like, I know what I'm gonna look like when I finish. And then you have these testing new product videos and you're like, bless the, bless the Lord, like, what is this? The whole combination is not combinationing for me at all. It's not combinationing one bit. Okay, now we do the face powder. This is a little strange because this powder is luminous. This is the Glow Wish by Huda Beauty Luminous Pressed Powder. This is the color Rich, okay? I'm not really trying to be luminous right now because the foundation said it was matte and it's not matte but I want to try out new things and this is what I have in front of me so we're gonna try it out I want to be matte but we're not okay so here we go with my powder brush complex culture and this will probably be really pretty if I have a matte look going but with this combination it's just a no for me before I even try it it is setting the foundation but this is meant to be luminous it does look pretty it's just that what's off for me is the fact that this foundation is very warm it's just too warm it's not dark enough like at all and i can barely see my contour do you see that i mean we see it but we don't see it like how we normally be seeing it you know normally she's more pronounced i do like how this looks though this does look gorgeous all right i do have two shades of this this is rich the one i just used is number 12 then i have deep which is number 11 let me show both of them to you both i know are going to be fitting for me depending again on the foundation that i'm wearing whether it's dark or whether it's light so here is deep okay and then here is rich all right, then you know at this point, I like to do my liquid highlighter. I almost said bronzer, God. Liquid highlighter, right? But I'm trying out new stuff. Do have the LYS highlighters. Then I also have this Benefit Cookie, which looks pretty, but it's so frosty, the snowman. I wanna use this in the inner eye. Let's try the LYS ones. You know what I like to do already, but let's give her a shot. We have here Aim High, the color is Brave. And then it has Shampoo, whoa, wait, no, hold on. Okay, hold on, let's do Aim Aim High, let's, it's all crumbling. I should have been so rough just doing that. That's annoying. Okay, here's Aim High. Alrighty, hi. Just kidding, they're both called Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powder. That was Brave. <laughs> which is the champagne, I'm so annoyed. And then this is Genuine, which is rose gold. That wasn't a good swatch, but you get the idea. All right, so this is the color Brave Champagne. I'm trying to go easy because I don't know how this is gonna come out, but I'm just, you know, I'm sold on liquid highlighter because look, it just looks like shimmer, like glitter on my face, as opposed to something that is melting into my skin. Perhaps when I spray a setting spray, it will melt and look more like skin but I'm so used to getting that result right away and not after I spray something on it. So this for me would be a product that I would use on the inner eye tear duct, not, not on my face like this. I just don't, I just don't like how it looks. It just looks like it's just sitting there and that's what pressed highlighters do. And, and to think, and to think that this is all I wore for ye many of us for years before liquid highlighter was even invented, okay? That's all we knew. But now that I have something else, I'm like, no, that was that was difficult. I don't do I don't do the brush I like so that was difficult. You know, I just use my sponge and I do this. So that was that was a little challenge. Okay. I don't like how it's just sitting there like that. I really am not a fan of this makeup today, like at all. I could apply let me apply more, but tapping it off so it's not too much. Just not. If you've used this, comment and let me know. I have some LYS beauty products that I love. It's just all pressed highlighters are just not for me. It's just not for me. Now I have a blush from Glowish. Is it a radiant blush? I'm not sure. Ooh, bless 
the Lord. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna come out. You know the blush I love to use now, but we are trying something different. I don't know which one to go with. We gonna go with Charming Cherry, or we, are, we gonna go with Berry Juicy. Yo, I'm gonna go with this one, cause this one's looking real light. I don't know what's going on. This is Charming Cherry Cheeky Vegan Blush Powder, okay? From Glowish, Huda Beauty's another, uh, another brand from Huda Beauty, okay? Let's get my brush. I hope it's not too frosty. I'm looking at it. Ugh. Tap it off some excess just in case. I don't know. Okay, I don't see anything. Did I not take enough? Okay, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it, but this is not something I would wear. And I just knew by looking at it, but the whole point is to try new things. It's something I would not wear because it's not warm enough. It's feeling very cool toned, like grayish. Do you see what I mean? It's just feeling pasty, chalky. It's not chalk like. It doesn't look white, obviously, but the undertone of it is feeling chalky. Whoa, I hate this whole face. <laughs> Yo, I hate the whole thing. Like, throw the whole thing in the trash and set the whole thing on fire. Set the dumpster on fire. I can't. Wow. <laughs> okay, dokey. Okay, and do key. Did I powder my face? I did. It's a luminous powder. The skin looks good, like luminous. It, it just, it doesn't matter. Okay, now let's do brows. I have brow product? Well, oh, oh God. Okay, this is a 24 hour invisible shaping and setting gel for the brows by Benefit Cosmetics. What's this? Okay, okay, okay. It's the gel. I was thinking it was like a colored gel. Anyway, okay, so here we go. 24 hour? Wait, is it gonna, is it waterproof? What is you saying? Is it 24 hour when I do this without makeup? Makeup? Because I am gonna wash this off. So what is you saying? 20, uh, benefit, what you saying to me right now? If you try this, let me know. You go, oh, I'm getting my brows microbladed. For all the rugrats on the internet, they might appreciate that, but I'm not doing it for them, I'm doing it for myself. I've always wanted to do it. I just wasn't in that much of a rush. And now I'm like, let me give this thing a shot. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, yeah. All right, let's let this dry a little bit, I suppose, before I start to color in my brows the way that I want to, because I do shave the, not this thing off, gooey. I do shave the tail end of my brow off because I can and because I want to, because it's my life, my face, my prerogative, you know? You know, that thing called choice. Yeah. And dang it, I'm not, <laughs> I need to cut my brow hairs. Hold on. I don't know if this is supposed to go on before makeup. It's reminding me of this Fenty one I have, which, where is it, by the way? Remember Fenty has that product to make the brow stay up. Where is mine? I don't know where it is. Okay, it is getting hard. Ooh, it is feeling like, <laughs> like stiff. Wow, okay. Ooh. Hey, okay, I did my brows and what I can say is that this brow product is hard. Like my brow hairs are hard, like hard, okay? <laughs> so doing the brows felt so strange because the pencil wasn't really going in between the hairs like it usually does. The brows look good, but the product's good. It definitely freezes them in place. Now I am using that matte Makeup Forever powder to set my brow bone. And what's nice is that since this product is warm, golden peachy, it is taking my under eyebrow highlight from being neutral, like beige-ish looking to a more warmer tone, which I like, I do like. So just FYI, if your concealer is light, almost not, this is not ashy, like I'm used to making it work with my face powder or my transition color, you can use a setting powder that's more warm, peachy, golden type color to neutralize it and make it look more warm, really. It just fixes it in a way. Right now, I'm gonna use the new eyeshadow palette. Where is it? From Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. I bought it. I like their palettes a lot, okay? This is the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. We gonna try this out, okay? I got another Morphe palette too, which I'm gonna use in several videos. I used to buy so many of those Morphe palettes when I was a makeup artist because they were so many color options. They were perfect when I had clients. I mean, I would carry so many of them in my case and I could do any eyeshadow look a client would want. I just needed to have options. Any makeup artists out there, I know you're out there watching this. I know that you agree. It's just important to be able to give the client whatever look they want. Cause you might show up thinking that they want a neutral eye, you know? And then you sitting there and all of a sudden they're like, I was thinking, girl, don't, don't start thinking. You should have been thinking when you booked me. <laughs> I can't do it, you know? Like now you got me out here. Now we doing a smoky eye, like what? This is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot using to prep my eye. I know that some of you use concealer. I'm used to a paint pot. It's just what I learned and what I like to do. Because my nails are short, I'm enjoying my ability to use my finger to blend on my paint pot. I normally have to use a brush. This is soft ochre, by the way, because my nails are just too long. Hello. This is supposed to be a great palette for everyday type looks because of all the colors inside. Booked looks like a great color to use as a transition. It's looking warm. Oh, these are good. They're not giving me a lot of fallout at all. So that 
that's nice. Oh, this is looking buttery already. Ooh, I'm already into this. A nice chocolatey brown everyday type palette. Hi. Right here in the crease, I'm using this fluffy brush. Watch my Amazon brush set video if you want a brush set to take you from A to Z. If you follow me, you'll see that I have an assortment of brushes just from <laughs> everywhere all around the world, girl. This is a darker crease that I normally do off rip. I normally start off with something reddish brown. And then I make my way into this, but we just got here. This was just the first stop, okay? Feathering it out into my brow bone highlight just so that that is not hard. I'm just doing this in a very haphazard manner. Your eyelid is clearly gonna look different than mine. So go with how your eyelid looks. I'm taking leftover product on the brush that I used from Sephora 59 brush that I used for my contour to make sure that there's no harshness back there as it, as it relates to the actual concealer. Okay, so there's that color. Now let's see what we gonna do. I could go dark in the crease. Let me go with this bronze. I don't know. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Cause I could put this, ooh, this color is nice. I haven't done something like this in ages. These shimmer colors are perfect for the finger, okay? Now I could put a brown down and then put this bronze on top for sure. But I didn't do that this time. I could though, and perhaps I should have. Now you can, this is not giving me a lot of fallout, which is like, good because it's not gonna be wasting everywhere. This is looking cute. I normally do not do a dark bronze like this. So I'm using my fingers to basically carve out my lid. Look at that girl. It's getting real messy. We getting in there, okay? Look at how the color's looking on my finger. I like this though. We gonna open up the eyelid by coming in here. Yes. It's different for me. I don't be doing stuff like this, but we doing it right now. And now we need to put a crease color together. So I'm trying to get a brush. Let me just use the same one, but I, let me take something a little stiffer. This one right here. Um, Let's see, let's try Boo Bear. Boo Bear, I'm basically right here with these browns. So Boo Bear, oh no, that's booked. I did that already, I'm gonna do Boo Bear. Put Boo Bear right here. Oh, okay. That's a nice brown color. It's a warm brown, I like it. I do wish there was a, a warmer toned color in here, the kind that I normally like, a little more red, but that's okay. This is really pretty. Let me know if you got this palette or are thinking about getting this palette. This to me is a nice palette to take for travel because you can easily get yourself a real beautiful everyday look with it for sure. Or even if you're not traveling, girl, just like at the house, at the crib, like this is cute. It's a subtle brown eye with a pop. It's not too much, but we are going to make it like pop more in the inner eye tear duct. Let's get there in a second. You know I like to bring my colors down to the bottom. This is not a reddish brown that I would like, but it's a neutral brown, that's cool. Let me just go straight in with Boo Bear under the eye. You're not gonna see it much, but it's gonna give it a little bit of a smoke, not too much, but it does make a difference, okay? I do wear contacts, so I'm trying not to get this in my eye, hence the crazy face. Just dust that along the bottom lash line. Looks so nice that way. Go out as well. And then of course we're gonna do eyeliner and let all of this come in together. Now, cinnamon roll is the darkest brown. Let me see if that'll show for a liner. Probably not. Oh, it does show. It's subtle, but it's there. This is beautiful, nice and soft. This is not gonna hide your mess ups if you mess up with your glue, okay? This ain't gonna be it. But it does give a little something, something to the eye. Just look at that comparatively. It's looking a little gray, but I like it. This is a neutral brown. I'm just really into using an eyeshadow as an eyeliner because it just looks so gorgeous. Now, when you get to the outside, it doesn't need to be precise because we are in the brown family, so it just it's just gonna look good regardless, okay? I always highlight the inner eye, all right? So we gonna take, this is a little bit of a pink shimmer. The last, the first one, Aw Lux. Oh, this is pretty. It's not too pink. It's very icy, but it's it's got a subtle pink to it. This is actually pleasantly nice. Like this isn't the kind of palette that is going to just knock you off your feet, but it really is nice. Like it's nice, you know? 
I like that. And Morphe palettes are usually really affordable. That I don't think cost me much. I don't remember. It, it couldn't have been too much. Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash Mascara on the top. And then we're going to do lashes, her usual. I'm going to put eyeliner on the bottom waterline. We're going to do lawless on the bottom lashes and all of that jazz and come right back. All right, all right, all right, here we go. This lash is a little bit wild today. Like, what is going on? They be going a different direction sometimes. I be having to like press them down. Just kind of getting on my nerves. So these lashes don't always look the same. Like, what's going on? Okay, mm -hmm. we gonna just go with it right now. <laughs> Here's the thing though. Some of y'all be getting individual lashes and y'all lashes be looking crazy too. So don't just come at me. Don't, I don't wanna hear it, okay? I don't wanna hear it. Cause with individuals, some of y'all be looking real ridiculous on the regular. <laughs> this is Makeup by Mario Garth Ultra Suede Lipstick. Now I tried another one of his. I forget the name. I didn't like how it went on. I didn't like what it was doing, but I wanna give this one a shot. It looks beautiful. It almost matches my nails, although this is more, my nails are more red. This is not as red. All right, I wanna put this on the outer part. Okay. I remember I used to wear a lip like this on my whole lip. It's not a look I like because I don't like my lips to look invisible. Although this looks really pretty. Okay, so lining my lip with this. This is looking like cork lip pencil. If you like cork, you're going like this. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, Maybelline Super Stay Matte. I wanted to use something new, but I didn't pull it and I don't have time to go find something else. Okay, here's Poet. Mm. Oh, mm -mm. hold on. Hi, you gotta let her dry a little bit. I'm in a rush. That's why it's looking all crazy and it's looking real ashy. Hold on. Let her dry a little bit before you blend because you you don't want her to move too much. Okay? <laughs> she's pretty. She just she's just ashy, so she looks kind of wild, but she's worth it. She smells so good and she looks really good. Let's go out here a little bit. A few layers will work. Thank God that with a few layers, it's nothing crusty. Oh, it's looking pouty. <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna leave her like this cause this is mm -mm, not gonna work for me. I got this a while ago. Bronze Diamonds Luscious Lips. Lip Shine. Luscious Lips and then it's a lip shine. Okay, ooh. Sticks like this sometimes don't always take out a lot of product, but here we go. This will look pretty, I think. Ooh, it's, is it gonna take off the product? That's what always concerns me. Cause you know, with my lips being dark, I like to not wear sheer products. And with sticks like this, if it doesn't give me enough product off rip when I'm applying the product, it ends up taking off my lip color. This is Gorge. It just didn't, not a lot came out. If you don't have that problem, you'll enjoy that product because you won't need to worry about the lip color wiping off and then you seeing your pigmented lips on the bottom. But this looks gorgeous nonetheless, baby. Come, oh, we do have a setting spray. Hold on. Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Girl, this stuff, you know what? I'm not here for the names, okay? It's just too much. Let me see how it's gonna spray. Is it gonna be aggressive? Is it a nice mist? Let's find out. Practice on the arm. See, the first few spritzes, a problem. It's real chunky. Okay, now here we go. Now we're ready. All right, let's go. It's pretty a lot. You know I don't be doing setting sprays like that. <laughs> but every now and again, ooh, this is giving wet. Like, shower wet. <laughs> I did spray a lot. Now, is this gonna make me dewy? What's it gonna do? Careful with your eye shadow. Keep your eyes down so to avoid any creasing. Is this a dewy mist? What are we doing? It looks good though. I can't lie about that. It looks good, but it's not what I wanted. <laughs> Is this a dewy spray? Let me ask Google what she thinking about it. Milk Hydro Grip. Okay, this is a clean alcohol free dual phase setting spray, setting and refreshing spray. S sets makeup for up to 12 hours. Hydrates the skin, provides. <laughs> it provides a breathable glassy glow. Okay, understood. But I do love how my skin looks though. Like glowy skin and gloss go together. Matte skin and a matte lippy go together too, although a matte face and a gloss do go together too, but glowy skin and a gloss just go together forever. Okay, so I let's talk about it. First of all, comment below and let me know what you feeling about the look, okay? Let's talk about it. Because this is a glowy setting spray, it did make my highlight melt into my skin. So I wanna go back on what I said about LYS Beauty's, uh, what? Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powders. By itself, it's a no-go for me. You see what I'm saying? But if I was planning on using a dewy spray like I just used today, yes, because it looks like my skin, girl. Wow, like I love this face. I wish I had to make them earlier so I could actually get a lot of wear out of this face because baby, baby. <laughs> 
I'm feeling myself right now. I like how this came out. Now, you're not gonna catch me in that foundation again. We already know my process. I add the powder on top, the luminous powder was beautiful. That might be adding to the luminosity of this face. I'm gonna do this face again tomorrow. Like, this is a must. What? I love this. That might be adding to the luminosity. I don't know. I am gonna be using the Glow Wish powders again because this looks beautiful. This spray, wow, glad I tried it because it looks fantastic. I am just, I am beside myself right now. I am, I am like growing in a lot of ways. And I'm loving the dewy face. I know, I know I can't believe that I'm saying. I know this is very unusual, but I am saying it. I get it. Like one of those things that just happened. So I really am liking this dewy face. I know it's unusual. It's not unusual. I love it. Girl, let's talk about it. Comment and let me know if you are feeling this look as much as I am right now. Wow, I don't know what to say. I want you to subscribe, number one. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know you loved it so I can do more. I need to know, you know what I'm saying? Join my text community because it's free and you can join. Yes, text the number on the screen. Also, make sure you are subscribed. So many of you watch and don't subscribe. I don't understand. Like nobody else's channel gives you what I give you. You see what I'm saying? It's different around here. Three videos a week, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. You feel what I'm saying? You need to be there. Instagram, make sure you also follow me there because it's important. A lot goes down on the IG, it's different from YouTube. I'm also kind of like a rapper. You see what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a lot. It's a lot around here. You would be remiss not to subscribe. Don't just leave it to YouTube to suggest my videos to you. I'm not a suggestion. I need to be chosen. Prove to me that you want to choose me. End of story. Hi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. I'm glad that you watched my video. As always, thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.